All right, good afternoon, folks, and here's another round of coffee and questions. So today we're going to talk about what is the absolute best deal, period, hands down, that you can get from Harbor Freight. And this is an opinion, but it's an opinion shared by a lot of people on the forum, so I thought I'd bring it to you and let you see what it is that people think, by far, is the best bargain and the reason why. So I'm going to change the picture, and I'm going to get right to it. Here we go. And we'll go right to the questions here in a minute, but these are the best deals. These are the 18-inch magnetic tool-holding magnetic strips, and you got these little round dishes, 4-inch. Why are they the best deal hand down? Because they work great for holding little nuts and bolts and stuff, and because a lot of times they're free. A lot of times on their promotions and stuff, when you go out there, you'll have your choice between these and lights and all this other stuff. But when these come up and I need something at Harbor Freight, these are great. They're handy to have. And I'm going to go over to the questions and answers in a minute, and I'll give you examples of what people use them for and the reasons why. Now, are there better things out there on the market with magnetic strips? Yep, but they're going to cost you money. And like I said, these can actually become free if you just wait for the promotions to come around. So let's go right to the questions and we'll see what other people have got to say. Let me see. Give me just a sec. Yeah, but it's like in the picture. They're good for nuts and bolts. Um, they're good for hanging pliers and screwdrivers and wrenches, clamps, squares. I mean, whatever you want. The magnets are incredibly strong. Um, I have a couple of the little round trays and I've got one of the strips. I wish I had more of the strips. I put one on the side of my drill press. It's good for throwing bits up onto it real quickly and they don't get shuffled around on the bench or drop on the floor and all this stuff. I just slap them up on there. You can take that 18 inch strip just to fix it to your drill press somewhere. And voila, you got a great little tool hanging place. And you can put a chuck keys and whatever else there. Or, you know, like I said, nuts and bolts. A little tray I keep on my welding table and I throw bits in there and everything else and it locks them in there, holds them tight till I can use them again and they don't get knocked around. That's what I use it for. Okay, somebody else on the forum said, no, the other thing that you can use them for, oh, I see what he's saying. Okay, he used them on the inside of his toolbox to organize sockets and organize his screwdrivers and wrenches. And he actually posted photos and I'll show you those here in a few minutes and I'll take these down. So, but that's a good idea. Put them in your toolbox or you can put them on the upper lid on the inside of your toolbox and now you got more storage room. Yeah, I agree. That would be a good idea. Then when you lift open that toolbox, that lid on the underneath side becomes an additional storage area. That's a good idea. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, let me take this down while we go through some of the other questions and I'll throw up the pictures of what other people have posted that they've done with these to give you some ideas of what you can do at home too. One sec. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at these three pictures and you can see where the guy used the magnetic strips and they're plenty strong. They can hold up vice grips, pliers, all kinds of wrenches, channel locks, whatever. So he put these on a pegboard. That's another good idea if you got a pegboard in your garage at home. He just went ahead and secured the magnets to the pegboard and then he went ahead and lined his tools up on it. Good idea. Let me tear these down. Let's take a look at some other pictures of what people have done. Okay, let's take a look at the one on the upper left. Now, here he went ahead and he put those magnets inside of a box. Well, probably a tool chest or something that he's got. And he can put his ratchet on there. So you can see, and you know, the, you can see it can hold quite a bit of weight. I mean, for it's a pretty powerful magnet. And in all the reviews, if you want to read them, it'll tell you the magnet is incredibly powerful. So it's, it's a good magnet. Anyway, toolbox over on the far right, you can see how he used it to put screwdrivers and stuff in there. Um, I don't really do that in my toolbox. It's a good idea. You can use it, like I said, for sockets. I don't do that either. I've got trays, so or I've got you know socket trays, so I just have a different way of doing it. Take a look on the little utility cart down on the far left. He put it on the sides where he can throw screwdrivers, wrenches, and stuff on there, and he's also got one of the little round dishes that are magnetized too, so comes in handy for him on his little utility cart. Let's tear these down. I'll show you a couple of more and we'll wrap this up. Okay, I didn't have any more pictures, but I'm sure you can come up with other ideas. Uh, let me take a last look here. Are there any other questions off of the forum? Uh, he made a comment. There's five or six magnets by the time you take them off this 18 inch bar. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I've never tried to do that. Uh, it is a good idea, I guess, if you got other projects and you want the magnets. 
you can remove them. I mean, especially you got it for free on one of these, you know, promotion things or you use your coupons or what have you. It wouldn't matter if you've got another project. Uh, it's just not something I've done personally. The trays I really like. I enjoy the trays, like I said, for holding nuts, bolts, little things. Um, okay, you know, I guess on every everything you got to have somebody that complains. They're complaining that, why would you go buy these? It's Harbor Freight junk, blah, 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 blah. Um, that's not junk. These aren't. These are actually, I think, a great value considering you got them for free. Your comment that you're posting here to me is, why would you buy this cheap Chinese junk when you can go to Lowe's for 10, 12, 14 bucks and buy incredibly well-made magnet holders? Well, I just answered your question. These are free and I don't have to go spend money. I wait for them to go on promo and I get them for free. So, uh, but you know, okay, you got your criticism. That's fine. I just happen not to agree with you. I think you're full of crap, but whatever. And I'm only saying you're full of crap because of the way you worded the comment to me. So, you know, I just took out the good part of your comment and threw the rest aside. Okay, somebody else said you can actually use these magnetic strips as a guide if you're working on, like, you know, sheet steel, plate steel, anything like that. Because they're magnetic, you can set them on there and it creates a perfect straight edge. That's another good idea. Um, I haven't thought of that, but yeah, I can see your point. That would create a nice straight edge, you know, if you're going to scribe a line or do something. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, that's it for this review. Keep your eye out for these. This is the best value, in my opinion, at Harbor Freight. Either one of these two products, they come up, like I said, for free on promotion. Go out and get yourself some each time that they do. I think this is a great value. I'm the home handyman. I hope you folks click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and stick with me. You folks have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.